Hello ladies! Happy Monday! Um, sorry we're doing this a little late. I have been fighting a migraine since last Monday. So, I've been a little out of it, um, with meds and I just went to my chiropractor today to get popped and it's helping a tad. Um, I still feel like somebody's poking me in the back of the eyeball with a sharp stick. So, um, I apologize for this being late, um, but let me show you what we're going to do. I'm hoping to get this migraine thing figured out here shortly. So, the star of our show here is going to be this piece right here. Um, this is just a wood cutout that I bought from... You can get Hobby Lobby or Michael's, uh, maybe Joann's in their wood section. Um, I just spray painted it white on both sides. Um, on this side, I spray painted it white and I also spray, um, paint, spray painted it basically with uh, diamond dust. And then um, sprayed a clear coat of, I can't remember the name of the spray paint. It's at, um, you can get it at Hobby Lobby. And it's for glitter, but, it, but it's clear. Um, so it's really hard to see. It's not, it's really sparkly. You can tell in the sunlight. So we're going to use that as the star of our shoe. Uh, these are the ribbons that we're going to use. I've got four, two, or three, two and a half, and one, uh, one and a half. This is a red crushed velvet. The underside is gold. So that'll be really pretty. We got some natural um, cardinal ribbon. This is really pretty. I got this at uh, Hobby Lobby. This I got at Paper Mart. Um, I have my glasses on so we can see people. That might work. Right. So this one I got at Paper, at Paper Mart. Um, the number is 561-31730. I love this stuff. I use this in, in a lot of my Christmas um, in Valentine's, um, it's fairly inexpensive. I don't know how much it is. The 10 yard roll, a red gold crushed velvet metallic ribbon roll. I got like three rolls of this because I ran out of it last time. Um, the, this one I got at Hobby Lobby. This one I got at Hobby Lobby. It's just a white glitter, two and a half. And this one I got at the home store. I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, so pretty. It's a red and burgundy pinstripe. I don't know if you can see the pinstripes in it. I'm trying to get the. There we go. It's really, really pretty. So we're going to use some of that. Um, if you have an at home store where you are, take the time to check out their Christmas stuff. Because it's now that um, Halloween is over, it's gonna start to go fast. This is five ninety nine for a ten yard roll. You can't beat it. Should have bought more. Cause this would be really pretty for Valentine's Day. I might go buy some more too. So we're gonna use those for our rebound. Okay. Now, um, I bought some cardinals. I got these at Hobby Lobby. $7.99. Um, I think we're only going to be using a couple of these though. We're not going to use all four of them. Um, got some moss. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some gaps and cracks that I made in little clumps and we are going to um, glue them to the frame. I'm wondering if I'm going to use this or if it would be easier to use these. We'll see. And we'll see what we're going to use. Okay. Then I got some burgundy roses. I got three of these. Save the leaves on these because you can use them for other things. Um, I got some white. I think these are peonies. It doesn't say. 
but I got these at Walmart or at um, Hobby Lobby. I also got uh, three of these white glitter sprigs at Hobby Lobby. And I got these at Hobby Lobby. Just some green fern, evergreen. I'm just gonna stick these on the floor so I have some room. Okay. And we got some red berries that I got at Hobby Lobby and some red and white berries at Hobby Lobby. So we're gonna use some of them. Okay, so this is gonna be the fun part is putting this together. Um, let's see, how do I wanna put an attachment on the back? I guess people can hang it like this, but I don't really like that. So, hmm, trying to think, 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 think. Trying to think. I do have my staple gun. Let's see if that works. I'm gonna pull the staples out of here though. Cause I have the big ones in here and I want the small ones. I can never remember how this goes. I'm not going to staple myself, but I just want to see. Okay, I'm going to take a white. And like this. Maybe I'll cut it in half. Cut it in half. I don't need it so big. I'm just gonna find the top. some leverage. I need to stand up and do this. There we go. Just like that. Ain't going nowhere. Okay. And it didn't go through the other. It almost did. I'm glad I used the small one. Okay. There. Now we have a hanger to hang it. Ta-da! You could just have them hang it like that with one of the hanging strips that they get, but um, I want this to be, I don't want them to see that in the middle. To me, that's kind of tacky. So take a pipe cleaner, it's about the same color, and we're probably gonna be covering this part up anyway, so they're not gonna see it. But I just don't, I just didn't like that. Mm -mm. Okay, so. Let me see how this is going to work. I'm going to put a bow right here. So I'm going to put some florals right here and down here. So if you ever want to make some uh, foam things to cover for florals, these, this is really cheap. These can be kind of expensive. I think these were like, $2.49. It's about $2.49 for a can of gaps and cracks, which you can use on multiple projects. Um, I've got some wings that we're going to do, some metal wings that I've put some gaps and cracks on. Um, you can put gaps and cracks on this. I just, I ran out of time. Um, and you can make little stacks like this. Keep them on here. I could probably use this one because that's a perfect fit. 
right there. And then we can use another one. I'm going to use this one. This one's a little too big. Oh, there's a staple on it. So, and what I can do is I can cut it up here. The bow is going to go right here on the side, kind of like at a diagonal, like right down there. But we can always cut this. So I'll try that. Oh, my eyeball is killing me. Try that one. Um, got some smaller ones over here. Try those. I got all kinds. Mm -mm. Let me combine these two. Hold on. I need all these bags. I'll save the bag for something else. Mm -hmm. I need some. I got some more back here that are more flat. We'll see. Okay, so I am going to take make that flat. Yeah. Hold on, let me go get a knife real quick. She's got a knife. <laughs> no worries, guys. Okay, so I'm just going to cut this to its level. Okay, just like that. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I think this actually, um, you can cut this a lot easier than the regular foam, too. It's lighter. You can get stuff. See how easy that is? We can glue it on here and we can cut the excess off. Like that. And we just throw these pieces away. You're not going to use them for anything. And put this piece on. I just don't want them overhanging. Okay. When you're going to see it on the other side, if you want, you can always cover up the other side with felt, which I might do. Okay. So now we got that. In here. All right. So I'm gonna put this one like right here, up here. Okay. So I'm just gonna kind of put some glue around here. Just be sure you don't get it on your board. Because I'm so excited. I am going to be. I just did. Duh. So you guys must do it and then I do it. Do as I say, not as I do. Um I looked at my Etsy store this morning and I got 76 sales. So um and you can spread the word about this. This is not just the group thing, but I am gonna be doing a huge giveaway. Huge. Um, probably one of my biggest giveaways yet when I get to a hundred sales. So, um, there's, tw that means I got 26 sales left. So what I will tell you though, which a lot of people don't know what the giveaway is going to be yet is, um, I'm going to be giving away a, the giveaway is going to be, <laughs> my head is pounding, um, a craft table, an L-shaped craft table, and a $100 gift certificate to Craft Outlet. So it's going to be huge. And getting to that point of um, success in my Etsy shop, it deserves a big giveaway. So I haven't told anybody else other than you guys what the giveaway is going to be yet. So, I'm excited. So we'll see how many sales I get between now and then. I want to 
make sure that everybody has a chance to win. Okay, so we're, that's how we have it, just like that. Okay, and I use Gorilla Glue, so this is not going to come off. And when you use this kind of um, gaps and cracks and what am I trying to say? This kind of foam with the glue, it sticks better. It doesn't melt as much as it does with the regular foam. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna put it down so you guys can see better. I'm gonna put moss on here. And I'm just going to take my, uh, where are they? Where are they? Oh, there they are. My um, floral pins. And attach the moss that way. Sorry guys, I was not prepared. I came directly home from work, took some pictures of some items that I need to list before it gets dark outside, because now it's getting darker late earlier. So I wanted to make sure I got that done. Um, and then I came in here and started doing the tutorial. So I haven't even got out of my work clothes yet. Okay, so I'm just gonna take some moss. This is just loose moss. Um, this is the moss collection. I get this at uh, Hobby Lobby. You can probably get it at Joann's. It makes a mess, just saying. I don't like that big clump right there. It looks like dirt. Okay, we're not gonna like cover this whole thing. you're not in a seat it's anyway completely throw this on the floor like I would normally do because I just vacuumed but down wherever you think you need to where it's really loose it, you don't have to cover the whole thing stuff off. Okay. This stuff does make a huge mess. So put like, if you don't want to get it all over the floor, put like a sheet or something. I don't know why I put it in with my floor picks, but whatever. I'm going to keep these out because I might need more of these. Okay, 
So, I do want to clean this off because I don't want moss and dirt and stuff all over my bow. Okay, so I'm just going to use my favorite tool ever, the Easy Bow. If you guys don't know where to get an Easy Bow, you can get one of these from Hobby Lobby, I believe. Um, I got mine from Michael's. You can get it on Amazon. Um, Deco Exchange has them. Let me get it over my shirt. Uh, Joann's might have them. But anywhere that sells um, crafts should have one. I'm going to start with this red. Okay. I'm going to do something a little different. Sorry, you guys can't see. That would probably help, right? Okay, so uh, I make my tail is probably about maybe nine inches. Okay, I'm gonna try to make a I'm gonna try to make up a bambo. That's what I call it. And if this doesn't work, then I'll just do it in the Easy Bow Maker. So I want the loops to be about six inches. Oh, I don't know how she did it. She did it like this. And she did it like... I'm going to have to watch it again. I don't know. So we're going to scrunch it. I will get it one of these days. You just wait and see. <laughs> I will get it. Okay, so I'm going to do... Six inch loops. I love this ribbon. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of like one of those really fancy dresses like back in the 1800s. Those big bustle dresses. That's what this reminds me of. I mean, it's not a real thick um, ribbon by any means. It is kind of thin, but it reminds me of like taffeta. With the pinstripes. I love this pinstripe. I'm gonna have to go get some more. Love it. Okay. Oh, you can make any kind of bow for this you want. You can make a terry bow. You can make, you know, a ribbon bow. Any kind of bow you want. I just like to make these simple bows. They're one, they don't use a lot of ribbon. They're still really pretty. And they make a statement still and they're simple and they're quick and easy okay. same twist it mm, I'm gonna make this about five inches. It's gonna go down about an inch on each one. <laughs> Babam had a uh, Amy Smith from Babam had a tutorial on her page on how she does her bows. She had it in slow motion, and I'm watching it, watching it. I'm like, oh yeah, that's really, really easy. Now that I'm watching it in slow motion, still can't do it. <laughs> still can't do it. <laughs> oh, you know. What can you do? All right. And this is a little bit more stiffer ribbon. Um, if you wanted to start with this ribbon, you can and use a thinner ribbon behind it to help stand it up. Um, I didn't know what this ribbon was going to be like when I opened it, so that's why I used that one first. But I only want to use, use uh, this one as a hint of white. I don't want a whole bunch of white. Um, in here just a, a little bit so I got more red than I do white 
not like this version so far. It's really hard to get stiff. It's really stiff. So I'm gonna make this at four inches. Mm -mm -mm. Got ribbon trying to fall on the floor. No, no, no. ribbon. This is like one of my favorite ribbons. I love this from Paper Mart. See how it's gold on this side? And then it's crushed velvet on this side. Okay, make that one a little bit longer because we're going to curl it. So I'm going to do this one about 16 inches. Twist it. I'm going to make this loop the same length as the white, so about four inches. Okay. And the length doesn't have to be the same. That's what I like about this bow. You really don't have to measure with it all that much. Okay. Now, I am going to get, I have another one, cool. This pipe cleaner. Okay. This on the floor. Now I'm going to put this directly in the middle where the indention was. Okay, twist it really tight because we're going to tie this to the front. Okay. Pull this up like this. It's kind of going around. go ahead and dovetail the ends. Now you want to dovetail. You want to take your ribbon, fold it in half, and cut at an angle. And it makes a really pretty dovetail. I do that on all of my bows because it's, it gives it a finished edge um, and it looks more professional. You can cut it at an angle if you want. I just, I don't like the way it looks just cut straight across. It looks very unfinished. Like you forgot to do something. That's just my opinion, but you can do it however you want with your bows. I'm glad I bought it. I almost didn't buy it. Just a bit because the frame does take a little bit of worm. So, bring this back. I'm going to put this bow right here. Okay. So, I'm going to put it right there. Where does that put my. Okay. I just wanted to see where this ends up because I want it to be. Even I already forgot where it went. Okay. 
and I want it kind of at an angle. Okay, and then we're just going to twist this really, really tight so it doesn't move. I wouldn't use wire on this. Just because if you decide not to put any felt behind there, it will scratch their door. At least with the pipe cleaner, I mean, it's not the best looking. You're not going to see the other side anyway because it's going to be against the door. But it's soft enough that it's not going to scratch their door. You know, and we can put like a little flower inside there, which I probably will do. Okay. Now I'm just going to kind of take these and curl them a little bit. So how you do that is you take these two fingers or you take these two, whichever one you want to do. You put the ribbon in your fingers like this. I usually do it with these two fingers because the two and a half, if I do it this way, I guess you could do it this way, but it's easier for me to do it this way. Okay. And curl it a little bit. for these I'm going to take my handy dandy cardboard filler um, if you ever get Hobby Lobby mesh they have the, the thinner roll of cardboard okay um, the craft outlet mesh is a little bit bigger you can still do it with that I would save at least one of these so you can curl your ribbon um, this one is the best. This was only an inch wide. Uh, I think Craft Outlets is anywhere from an inch and a half to two inches wide. Well, maybe not two inches wide, but at least an inch and a half. Like, for example, this is a Craft Outlet roll. And you can see how much smaller Hobby Lobby is. Hobby Lobby's... I don't normally use Hobby Lobby mesh, but their Christmas mesh, if you get their Christmas mesh um, this year, is, is good. So at least save one of these so you can curl it. And you can do it this way. Okay, so just take it, put it on your roll, twist it like you're curling your hair. Remember back in the 80s when we, well, I'm dating myself. You might not all have been alive back in the 80s. Curl it like that. Make sure you hold the end while you're doing this. It's going to come undone. Okay. And then pull just like that. I don't know where that went. Okay. That looks just like that. Isn't that pretty? Okay. And I might glue this back here too, but that looks really pretty. The flower look really pretty in there. Okay. Kind of off my table a little bit. Now, let me do something. I'm going to get my little easel and see if that works better. See now that you need to have something like on here. My easel's not going to work either. Okay, so I'm going to do this. I'm thinking, 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 thinking. So I'm going to put a, I need another thingy over there. Just a second. 
about this, a bit more over this way. messing with my ribbon again. Okay, so I'm going to put a flower on each side. So I'm going to put one red one and one white one. I'm going to take this big one and the white one. I'm going to need my wire cutter. this kind of long. Save these leaves. I love these leaves. Okay, that one's already indented, so I'm going to cut right like there. So, I'm going to put a I should have put some up there. That's okay, I can put more ribbon up right there. So I'm gonna put this right here. I'm gonna cut that a little bit more. I'm gonna cut it at an angle. I can get my glue pot out, but I just don't, I don't want to. I'm being lazy. I need my floral pick. It's kind of a pain in the ass, but it works. Okay. She's just getting rid of the box. I'm just gonna get rid of this box. It's driving me nuts. this because I might want to put this one like right here. I'm gonna cut this a little bit shorter. It's starting to get dark outside. If you guys have never used one of these, it's awesome. It's a steel pick machine. Um, you can get, I got mine at Hobby Lobby. You can get them on Amazon. Um, you might be able to get them on eBay fairly cheap. I'm gonna have to hold this up every now and then so I can see. Looks like that's pretty. I may have to. I may have to glue this on here. Hold on. This bow is not doing what I want it to do. It's just really floppy. I don't like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do put that right here. I'm going to put some glue right here. Okay. I'm going to jack up my bow, but 
I need to put this right here. I'm gonna hold it there for a minute. Hot to front. Mm -hmm. Stop sticking my finger in glue. <laughs> I swear my fingers, it's like a magnet to glue. You know? Okay. We'll fix our bow later. Just want to like that. better. Just like that. Isn't that pretty? My moth is coming on. Okay. I don't know. I'm going to have some little white flowers sticking up from this end, I believe. I want some red and white down here. So I got these little flowers. Again, like I said, save the leaves. I have to stand up to do this. Okay. Oops, yeah, I'm put them like right there. I have to put it inside that indention because doesn't fall all over the place. There we go. Something like that. I'm going to put this one. Now these uh, steel pick machines are a little expensive. I think I got this one at Hobby Lobby for like 200 bucks. But they are so worth it. Sometimes you can find them at garage sales. You know, stuff like that. So you just keep your eye out. You guys, I have been so accident prone this week. I don't know what my deal is. Okay, that looks pretty. Okay, I'm going to put a white one on that side. I'll put some more white ones down here. See what I have down there. Okay, I'm gonna sit this one like right here. Okay. I'm gonna stick these down here. I want a red one. Okay. 
guys, it's already starting to get dark outside. I don't like it. That's okay, you gotta get used to it, right? It's gonna, it's gonna go on without you. Okay. I'm gonna stick this one like right here. Shove it in there. Okay. Now, got some evergreens I wanna put in there. I've still got a white, a couple white flowers, a red one and a red one, might save that. Okay, so I'm gonna kinda cut these a little bit. These I just throw away. I don't save these sticks. Okay. I'm gonna turn this light on because it's starting to get dark in here. There we go. Let me know if that helps. Some of these off. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of place these in different areas. If you're not used to doing florals, then I you would definitely need to place your items where you want them and make sure that's where you want them before you glue them. Cardinal right there. save these because I can use them for something else. Okay, so I'm going to stick this one like right here. Kind of cover up that spot. So I'm going to kind of bend this down a little bit. Put him right here. That way this flower is covering up that bare spot down there. And it's okay if you see a little bit of moss on here. Let me see. We will again. Yeah. I'm gonna stick him right there. I'm gonna hold him down for just a tad. Pretty bird. My sister, these remind me of my sister. She is infatuated with cardinals. I made her a Christmas wreath. It was my very, like my second wreath ever. And it had cardinals on it. That was it. I look at it now and I'm like, oh, I can't stand that wreath. <laughs> it was only like my second, second wreath. 
but she loves it, so I'm like, all right, well, whatever. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was thinking about making her another one, but then she probably wouldn't like the first one I gave her so much. So. You know what would be really pretty too is stick some evergreen in with the bow, which I might do because I've still got quite a bit down here. this evergreen it's really pretty the cardinals I want to smash my birds I found this idea on Pinterest and I'm like, ooh, that's really pretty. I'm going to make something kind of like that. I mean, I don't want it to be somebody else's design, but, you know, it's pretty. Make something similar. Okay, I'm going to cut this one. Put it down here at the end. I'm not going to cut a bunch of these off, but I just want to, I can save them for something else too if I don't use all of it. Let 
put a small one right there. Looks like there's a little bit of a gap. Glue stick. enough for that. Now, I'm going to get one of these, kind of kind of untangle these a little bit, because you can separate these. Separate it, separate it on the, f above the floor, not above your table, or it's going to get everywhere. I think my hubby's one. See, these are $5.99, and you can split them on, I got three of them. You can split them up and make them into little tiny picks. Separated now. about something like this is you don't have to you can only use a little bit to make a huge statement yeah, I was gonna hit the glue knew it okay. you know we could also put some of these leaves that we got in here too on here that would be really pretty My britches. Okay. Another one of these off. It's amazing how this thing gets glue all over it and I don't even touch it. Glue webs everywhere and I can't stand them. Okay. Let's see, let's put another one right here. Okay. There. I'm gonna pull this up so I can see it. That's pretty. Webs everywhere. I may put some of those leaves in here too. Okay, let's put some more in here. So 
This one's got one down here. It's got one right here. take all of these and put it into one. Show you what I mean. So all these little loose strands, take them like this. Put it in here. Make sure I don't have my finger in there. bigger ones down at the bottom. Okay. Sorry. No. I'm pulling up my britches. Not that you guys want to see all that, but... Of that. I don't want it overpowering it any all. I just want it to have a little bit of something, you know. Golly, look at these glue webs everywhere. Okay. Now, I think I think I'm going to put a cardinal actually right in the middle of that flower. I can save these because I make hats and these would be perfect hats. <laughs> I need some grippage. There we go. I want to make sure I get my ribbon where I need it. Because once I glue that in there, it's not coming out. Okay. 
I'm gonna put a cardinal up here too. Don't quite know where to put it. Maybe right in here. We may just use all four of them. Why the hell not, right? there for a second and wants to like come off. These are just shoved in there so they're not even glued. That's okay. They work good for hats for me. Okay, so I'm gonna get some glue webs out of here. Wow, they're like everywhere. Cardinals. Right there. Oh, it's looking so pretty. So pretty. Okay, so now we're going to put in some of these berries. I got some white ones and some white and red ones. So I can use these others for these other flowers and ferns for something else. Start out small, and I can put bigger sprays in if I need to, and pull these down if you need to. This ribbon is wanting to fall off the table so badly. Okay. You can open them up, spread them out. I didn't get as many red and white because I wanted a little bit more red in here than the white. So I'm just going to kind of stick it in there. Oh, why is it every time I do a live or tutorial, my nose starts to run? I don't get it. Okay. They put these on here so well, it is so hard to get these off. There we go. There's this one. one. And I'm going to put a big clump right there. Put 
socks on. You know, my dog bounced around out there. Alexa, turn on kitchen lights. Okay. Okay, let's go back around. Okay, so that's good for the red and white down at the bottom. There's that one. I'm just gonna put one like right here. Actually, I'm almost done. What are you doing, Chicky Sue? Some red and white left. I'm gonna move these ball around that can set that. Okay. I'm gonna put some red in there. I probably won't use this whole thing, so I don't save the leaves on these. Oops, this is a berry.
Okay. Let's see. I'm going to put more berries in a, I would call it like a pack or something like that, because I want to stand out more. <sighs> Don't let her win, Chuck. Okay. You have to hold it up every now and then so you can get a bird's eye view and see where there might be something missing. Like there's something missing right here. We need to use all of them, then we use all of them. I end up using all of them. You can see what I'm doing this whole time. I'm not even looking. Almost done, you guys. Let's 
see the light at the end of the tunnel. Can you see it? That is so pretty. So pretty. I think we are done. That is the mess. Fix this bow a little bit. done you guys I don't think it needs uh, any more leaves I like just the evergreen that's on it you pan that out so you can see and I'll hold it up for you So I hope this inspired you to make something different. Um, keep your, you know, keep your eyes open and see, you know, the wood section in Hobby Lobby. Who knew? You take that, take a piece of paint, and you know, and make something pretty out of it. So the next thing that we're gonna do is the live for tomorrow night. We're gonna be doing a purple and gold slide and that's gonna be on our life so that'll be really pretty so, um so i will see you guys tomorrow love you bye